This is Koa. Shalem hey. Online Academy came about in 2012 and is going strong today. I'm Christy Smith. I'm one of the elementary school teachers. And I'm Lynette Hammond. I'm admin. I do the enrollments and I make keep the wheels on is what somebody said. <laughs> I'm Brian Wood. I'm the principal of the K-5 COVID program. And my name is Eric Fuchs. I'm the other uh, elementary teacher. I teach grades three, four, and five. Our families, our families, uh, we are more of a relationship type school than what you typically see in um, traditional schools. Our teachers work closely with their families and we provide a lot of different options to our families. Uh, working with a homeschool type family that uh, where the parent is actually the parent teacher and they have the backing of our teachers to make sure that everything is going smoothly and if they have questions about their kiddo learning and what's the best way to handle a situation, they're able to help them out. For students, they make up so many different types of families and students and children. We have uh, families that are experiencing some sort of trauma or medical um, circumstance that requires extensive time outside of the school, so they choose our program to make sure learning stays consistent with a licensed teacher um, and it fits their environment. We also have traditionally homeschooled families, families that have decided that learning in their home environment and out in the field is what they choose. So they partner with the Newburgh School District co-op program um, to have that licensed teacher, that good curriculum, that foundation for learning, but then the freedom and the flexibility to teach their children how they want. And it's not just Newburgh. It's also throughout Oregon. We have kids from all corners of Oregon, so we help out all families. These are COA students. It changes every year. Who knows who will come next? Uh, we offer the four main core, which is math, social studies, language, arts, and science. And then we have electives, uh, that, which is their choice. So that they can put the, you know, the world at their feet. If they like to do horseback riding, close to my heart, um, <laughs> or martial arts, uh, things that uh, might make a kiddo tick. That is what we focus on, is, is helping these kids out to be their very best and successful learners. And obviously, um, academics is incredibly important. That's something Christy and, and Lynette have already spoken about. But also the community engagement, so getting that social piece um, in our school. And we do many things, including we do family fun events here in the COA classroom. During Christmas time, we made Yule Logs. We had a really great um, Heart Art Valentine's party where we had kids and we had families come in. In addition to that, we do take field trips off campus. So this year, we're looking at a field trip to iFly. Next week, we're going to the Air Museum and we have almost 40 uh, students and family members signed up for that. We also have the bridge tour in the um, spring coming up. Um, and I, I think it's also very important to mention that our COA students do participate in all of the district activities so that other Newburgh School District students participate in. For example, we are going to have our fifth graders have an outdoor school experience at the end of April. That's going to be three days. Um, we're, I'm also taking the fifth graders over to the music recruitment concert, which will be uh, in about two, three weeks here, and we're taking third, fourth, and fifth graders to the um, Newburgh High School production of Mary Poppins. So, um, you know, it's the, it's the academics at home, but we do provide many, many, many opportunities for students to interact and for students to get together and have that social aspect. So, uh, yeah, it's a great question. We, we meet all of the state standards for curriculum. We have things like McGraw-Hill that students can engage in. Um, it's very uh, standards-based. We have our teachers that are working with families to monitor students' growth, to make sure that students are excelling. Uh, we have the opportunity for kids to come into the classroom here at COA to get some one-on-one -on -one or, or small group work with our teachers. We even have this year, we're having some students come in and receive some reading support with district reading specialists. So whether it's you're focused on those, those extracurricular activities or those um, that Mr. Fuchs talked about, or you're really focusing on the core curriculum, we are, uh, we're supporting all of our students. So we have some great options that are aligned to standards, that are engaging with licensed teachers, that are not just helping students um, 
achieve, but actually excel in the classroom and outside the classroom. One important thing is we're not just K through five as we have represented here. We're also six through eight and nine through 12. So COA is for all students K through 12. The other thing that I think is fabulous about COA is, especially after we went through the pandemic and a couple of years of no school, we've had kids that used to love math, for instance, and they were fifth grader, and uh, they are now hating school, hating math, a lot of problems. Uh, they'll come to us, we don't have a ceiling, we don't have a floor. So he came as his fifth grader, we put him in fourth grade math. By the time he left, he was in sixth grade math. So he found that spark again for math, our programs, our software programs are excellent at helping them find that missing piece, especially in math where, you know, you got to have all those pieces to make, make it all work. Mm -hmm. sure. um, so, and with our teacher support mm -hmm. and the one-on-one -on -one with the home family support, that kid now is shining and he's back in the schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, at least at the upper elementary levels, um, for you know, students usually reach out to me, and students contact me personally over email, and then we just get together and we just meet on a on a Google Meet. Um, you know, there there are certain math assignments, especially that are very difficult, and I kind of know which ones they are, and I can anticipate that, and I'll normally have three, four, five students contact me, and then we'll just get together and meet on a meet on a Google Meet and talk through any misunderstandings or anything. So it is it is really, really, really individualized for each student. Um, you know, looks a little bit different at the primary versus intermediate, but definitely personalized instruction for each and every student. First of all, it's not uh, like a COA type of online program versus brick and mortar. It is those two programs together. Together, COA and our brick and mortar schools make up Newburgh Public Schools. And really it is providing an extension and another way to reach out to families that one model may not work with traditionally. Uh, likewise, we have kids that enter into COA because that's the model that they're looking for at that time, find great success, take part in some of these in-person learning opportunities, and then make the switch over to part-time in brick and mortar and then full-time brick and mortar and vice versa. So it's really, it's COA and brick and mortar are reaching out to more families within our community, engaging with those families, providing some really rich learning opportunities. Um, so it is, we are Newburgh Public Schools together and we're supporting all of, all of our students and more. I'm Lynette Hammond, uh, and, and we have a website, Shehalem Online Academy, uh, also coafamilyresources.com. Both are great websites, and you just would contact us uh, through email. I have my phone number on the website as well. Um, and the other thing is, is I can text, and I can, you know, we, we're a very approachable group. So um, happy to hear from you and happy to help. Hi, I'm Steve Phillips, Newburgh Superintendent, and uh, today I'm with Rachel. She is a COA mom, and uh, today we just wanted to talk to her about her experiences and her kids' experiences in COA. And um, so why don't you just take it from there. What, tell me about COA and what your experiences with that. Yeah, I have two kids in the COA program right now. I have a fourth grader, Catherine, and a first grader named Felicity. And they really enjoy COA. We made the decision a while back that our family wanted to be together. And we wanted to spend more time in the home. And so we brought our children home to uh, do school. Um, but when we decided to do that, I decided I didn't want to just launch into it. I never planned on homeschooling. I was planning on working, but when life changed, we had to make that decision. So we brought the kids home and joined the COA program. Um, the reason I went with it is we had tried it during um, the COVID shutdowns and it worked really well for our family. And we knew that we love that our kids can move at their own pace. Uh, we can slow down if we need to and really work on skills that are needed or we can speed up as they're learning things quickly, which is great for our kids. Um, and we've needed both at different times. And then we also like the support that we get from the teachers. So the school district's providing the curriculum, they have teachers who are helping us with different uh, problems, they even get to come in person and do activities every once in a while. So we really love that part of COA. Uh, the teachers, um, Eric Fuchs and uh, Christy Smith are fantastic. 
We really loved working with them. The kids think they're awesome. We have great conversations. When conferences start devolving into like wonderful conversations about just the world and philosophy, it, you know that you've got a good teacher. So, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So tell me this, how much time a day on average mm -hmm. do your kids spend in yeah. school? Yeah, we probably spend about three hours a day okay. doing school work, um, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Um, and we do all sorts of fun things. Like yesterday we built a generator using my daughter's bicycle and some uh, wiring and uh, electrical equipment. So we learned all about how generators work and how electricity is made. Um, so we do a lot of really hands-on fun things. Um, and then some of it's computer-based. So we're going through you know, math on the computer and watching videos and using examples that show how to do different math skills. So it's a variety of different types wow. of work. It's fun. What do you... Um what do you, what, what's your favorite part of COA? Yeah, I really like knowing exactly what my kids are learning and knowing how to supplement that. I was an educator at George Fox for many years and so I know how to teach and I want to know what my kids are learning. Um, so it's been fun to really dig deep with them and then if one of them shows an interest in a subject we can dive a little deeper, we can, you know, spend a few hours at the library researching something and that has been a beautiful blessing. I like having my kids home all together too right now. It was our family needed to be together and we have found that that's just been a beautiful time. So yeah, that's one thing I really love. Um, I love the support from the teachers that I know that they were hitting Oregon standards. I'm not worried about trying to get the homeschooling thing right because I know that I've got the support and we're going to hit the standards. That's great. If, um, if there's any misconceptions out there about COA, mm -hmm. um, uh, what could you maybe tell the community um, that you've learned that maybe dispels some of those misconceptions? Yeah, I think one of my biggest concerns and one of the things I hear a lot is, oh, if you homeschool, your kids won't have any socialization. They won't be around anyone else. Well, as you can see, they're here with a whole group of kids right now. Um, they are socialized. There's so many opportunities for them to go on field trips, to get together and do events. Uh, my daughter was able to be a part of an OBOB team, even with COA. So they've had opportunities to socialize and be with other people, and I'm not concerned about that at all. And that was a major concern of mine when I pulled them out of the traditional school setting, because yeah. we had done that. Yeah. So. All right, well, anything else that you think the community might want to hear about um, you or your girls and their experiences yeah. with COA? No, we're, we are really thankful that we've had this opportunity and that it's an, it's an alternative to what you can do. It takes work, parents have to be involved, you really have to be dedicated to getting it done. But it really is a blessing when you watch your kid finally figure out how to read a word or a really grasp a concept in science or math. It's a beautiful thing and you can dive deep into the history curriculum that we really enjoy. So it can be a major blessing for your family if this is the right option for you. So yeah. That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, of course. Thanks. All right. <laughs>